On behalf of the Department of Public Health faculty and staff, I'd like to be the first to congratulate you on your graduation. Unfortunately, this is not a normal year. If it was, you'd be walking across the stage behind me and celebrating with family and friends. But you're not a normal student. You've been through a lot of adversity this year, uh, a lot of challenges, but through that adver those adversities and challenges, you've learned a lot and it's prepared you well for your future in public health. As a result, we as faculty and staff encourage you to face the future with optimism and go forth and serve. Hi, my name is Mike Barnes. I wish we could meet in person. I would love to celebrate with you one-on-one, -on -one, but I hope this will work okay. I decided that I was gonna share a couple brief stories and a, a couple of my favorite quotes, and I hope they will be inspiring to you. My first quote, it is better to aim for the stars and drag your feet in the treetops than to aim for the treetops and drag your feet in the mud. My first, a few months before I graduated from BYU with my bachelor's degree, I applied for a job that I thought was going to be the dream job. And um, I interviewed and it, the interviews went well and I found that I was a finalist. A couple days later, after knowing that I was a finalist, I got a rejection note. It was my first ever rejection for a job. I was devastated. I was worried. Um, I shared my frustration with the professor and he sat me down and he said, Mike, I've been thinking about you and I think you ought to go into graduate school. So he said, let me help you through that process. So he did. And I'm really grateful that happened. Little did I know that that star of graduate school was much better than that treetop for that first job. And here's why. In about five years, that first job that I would have had, uh, that business ended. So I'm grateful that a little bit of guidance and a little bit of reaching for something high uh, ended up being a positive thing. When my wife and I left to go to graduate school in Illinois, we were excited to be able to live our lives and to live our lives uh, freely and just have a great time. And it became tempting at times to be thinking about maybe we can relax a little bit in how we're trying to live the gospel. And uh, we quickly came to understand this quote very well. We live our lives to God. As I found, the greatest ability for happiness in life comes by trying to live our lives, but to do it with God. The last quote that I'd like to share is um, by Cecil B. DeMille. It says, what matters and matters supremely is not how many things we do, but what we are. I hope that as you go forward from BYU, that your focus is not so much on what am I going to do, but your focus will continue to be on what you are becoming. Thank you, and I wish you the best. Congratulations. I realize that graduating from college is a big deal. Some of you may not think that it is because all your friends are here, everything that you do um, every day is associated with college. But about two thirds of Americans don't have a college degree, so finishing college is actually a pretty awesome thing. Um, something that I wish somebody would have talked to me a little bit about before I graduated is how much of my life was going to change post college in good ways and in unexpected ways. Something that was helpful for me as I thought about these things that were changing in my life post-college was something that I learned from lectures on faith, and that is the idea that faith is a power that can help us make things happen, um, and that we need sufficient amount of this power and faith to, in that case, talk about salvation, but something that's just helpful for me was thinking about this three principles that lecture on faith talked about, which is one, that God exists. To who he really is, and three, if my life's in accordance with what he wants me to do, it will do. And so that was helpful for me just to consider my relationship with Heavenly Father and what I'm doing with my time in my life. And the skills that I got in college as I moved through, made decisions, uh, walked down paths that were just unknown to me at that time. Um, yeah, good luck and, and God bless you. Congratulations, class of 2021. I can't believe we're in 2021 already. I'm just so excited for you. I wish I could be with you in person, but you've made it. So what an accomplishment and what an era to graduate in these 
COVID times and one day we'll see each other again without our masks on and, and have a great time together. But just want to wish you good luck in your um, future endeavors. I know a lot of you are looking for jobs or hoping to get into graduate school or worrying about graduate school and just know everything works out. So just trust in that and enjoy the moment. Just want to say congratulations to a class of 2021. Uh, we know you guys are graduating in crazy circumstances and times and just so proud of you guys for sticking through it to the very end. Really grateful for all the graduate undergraduate students I've got to know over these last few years and really excited to hear about where you go and what you do and um, and hope that we will always uh, stay in good touch and, and contact. Uh, congratulations again. Job well done. Hi, graduating public health students. Uh, I know this isn't a normal graduation year and I wish we could celebrate together like in a normal year, but I wanna say congratulations. You guys are awesome. I've loved getting to know all of you who have taken my class. I love spending time with you and teaching you. This is the best job in the world. And may your hats fly as high as your dreams. Congratulations, everyone. This is a remarkable accomplishment. It puts you in a very elite group. It really does, uh, a special group. You're someone who has dedicated uh, so much time and so much effort and money and, and other opportunities, the opportunity costs to be here and, and to dedicate yourself to education and preparing yourself to serve in public health. It's remarkable. I hope you feel great today and recognize the significance of this accomplishment. I also hope you'll take an opportunity to thank all of those who have put you in this place, whether that be family, extended family, friends. Uh, no one does this alone. And uh, so take a moment to congratulate yourselves today, but then also uh, reach out and thank those who have made this possible for you. As you move forward, my advice would be um, to do your best in every aspect of your life and you will have challenges and, and crises in every aspect of your life as well. And I think the trick is to view crisis uh, and to view those crises in your life as an opportunity for growth, whether that's professional growth or personal growth or spiritual growth. Uh, when I've had those experiences in my life, it's allowed me to improve. Uh, it's illuminated some blind spots and I've, I've been able to recognize how I can move forward. And uh, in each of those instances, it's been an opportunity for me to draw closer uh, to my Savior, to my Heavenly Father. Uh, I think it's, it's interesting how um, He will stretch us uh, much further than we think we can be stretched. And then He will bless us in ways that we, we couldn't even comprehend before. So there's definitely a stretch bless cycle. And it's spiritually and it's often physically with our physical health and sometimes with our mental health and often with our social relationships and those we work with in our, in our marriages and our children. Um, so trust Him and move forward doing good and believing and, and having hope that things will work out uh, the best way possible. And that would be my advice for you. It's, uh, it's advice that I give myself frequently and try to remind myself to move forward with faith and with hope and every opportunity to grow. Uh, so again, thank you. It's been an honor to work with a few of you and have a few of you in class, uh, but it's, uh, it's just a, a truly special day and I hope that it's, uh, it's one that'll be memorable for you. Hi everyone. I wanted to take a, a minute to congratulate you on graduating. Um, what an exciting day for you and um, just this, a chapter in your life that you've finished up and done so well on. I've thought a lot about, um, you know, what words of encouragement or advice I could give you. And I really um, don't know that I have a lot to say on top of what others have already shared. Um, I would say, um, you know, as you go out into, um, into the big world after graduating and, and um, whatever the next steps are for you, um, you know, first, um, you know, I'd say, you know, stay, uh, stay close to the gospel, um, work hard, um, and enjoy life. Um, you know, find, find those things that, uh, that bring you joy um, in your work and um, in your relationships and, um, you know, this world that we live in to go out and experience it. And um, we have a great adventure in front of you. Um, beyond that, um, really what, what I thought most I wanted to share with you guys today um, is I just wanted to say thank you. 
Um, as a professor, uh, one of the greatest honors that I have in my life is to, um, to teach you. And, um, you know, aside from um, my family and, um, you know, the, the happiness I find there, I, you know, I find myself talking to people a lot about how much I love my job. And I think it's, it's largely because of you guys. And, um, you know, you, um, you make me laugh. Um, there's so many times I've come home from work and thought um, that I view the world differently because of comments that you've made in class and um, things that you've shared with me. And I, I just want to say thank you um, for that. Thank you for your friendship um, while you've been here uh, to all of us. Um, it truly is an honor to be a professor at BYU and to uh, work with such great students. And I wish you all the very best as you go forward um, in this new chapter in your life. Um, good luck to you, and um, I just wish you the very best. And, and thank you again for just being who you are and um, just for uplifting me in, in the time that you've been here. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2021. You've accomplished something great. Don't let the COVID pandemic and the lack of celebration derail you from your accomplishments. Um, we really are so very proud of you. This is a difficult, sometimes stressful period of life as you move out of graduation, out of the school environment, and into your jobs or graduate school or family life. Uh, just realize that this is normal. This is gonna be a hard, hard time perhaps, um, but you guys are so well equipped for these challenges and we're looking forward to see what you do and the amazing things that you bring to the world. We really are so very proud of you. Congratulations on this big accomplishment. Hello students, we're just outside of the Life Science Building on this beautiful spring day. And I'm just here to tell you congratulations on your graduation here in 2021. And I wish you all the kind of success in your future, whatever path you decide to take. Well, welcome to graduation. We're not here with you at the Marriott Center today, but we're with you in spirit wherever you are watching graduation from. And I just wanted to say that we as a department are very proud of all of you and how hard you've worked, even though the conditions were not, you know, optimal over the last year or so. Um, but we have seen how much as students you've learned and you've grown and you've stretched yourselves and you've made it happen in spite of those difficulties. So congratulations very much. We're so excited to see the great things that you do when you go out into the world. So make sure you reach out and you let us know how things are going. We'd love to hear from you in the future. Hello, public health graduates. It's really good to be able to say something to you at this really exciting time. I uh, wanted you to know how amazingly proud I and the rest of the faculty are of you and what you've accomplished, everything that you've been through in the last year and all the changes that you've had to make at the last minute. Um, I know you're going to be excellent public health professionals. You're compassionate, you're dedicated to serving other people, and you have a really great knowledge base. So I'm excited to see where you all go. Please stay in touch, please visit, and uh, I just wish you all the best going forward. Hi, public health grads. This is a quick message to share our support for you and our congratulations. One thing that I was told when I was graduating from my PhD was to utilize the um, improvisation technique called yes and. And I don't participate in improv myself, but from what I understand is in order to make a really cool improv comedy, you have to say yes and to what they're building on in the comedy. Um, um, so you take whatever someone has said, you say yes, and then you build on whatever that is. So I was told that this is also a great principle for life, for careers, those sorts of things, that whenever we're told or taught something, we say yes and see how we can make it better. So that's the encouragement and advice I give to you as graduates of the public health department is that whatever, wherever your life takes you, that you say yes and, and that can create your own destiny for the future. We certainly hope you'll keep in touch with us. Let us know on what you're doing for the future. Um, where your career takes you, where your life takes you, and we hope that you have an excellent future and are so glad that you have spent your time with us here at BYU. Hello, graduating students. 
I'm happy to be able to share with you my congratulations and a little bit of advice for how you go forward in your life. I think if you are a creative and ambitious and curious person who wants to do good things, you're gonna find so many opportunities to do that. In fact, more opportunities than you can ever possibly take advantage of. At least that's what happens for me. There's a lot of good to do in the world and I can't do all of it because I have a limited capacity. But here's how I approach that and maybe this will be a helpful way for you to approach it too. Number one, I've decided to be service oriented. I try to deliberately spend my time serving others or doing good things for other people instead of going too far towards just doing things that I think will be good for myself. The more I try to serve others, the better life is. Second, I try to rely on a teaching from President Nelson, the president of the church, who has taught us that if we will, on a daily basis, devote a substantial portion of our time to the Lord, then the Lord will come into our life and multiply our ability in the remainder of the time that we have. So when I'm at work at BYU, or when I'm with my family, or when I'm going around trying to do good things and wanting to do good things, if I have devoted some time to the Lord, in prayer, in scripture study, in temple and family history work, in service, then I expect him to, and I have seen him bless me by multiplying my ability in the remainder of my time so that I can accomplish what he would want me to do. And I think if you can go forward in your life with that kind of perspective, you'll have so many blessings and you'll find great ways to serve others and do good in this world. Congratulations, and I hope to see you again. A huge congratulations to all the graduating seniors. You did it, you made it. You did it during one of the most challenging times in the history of the human race. Congratulations. There are going to be times in your life where you're gonna to have to put your heart out. Now I'm gonna quote our dear coach Pope real quick. Um, not a direct quote, but I'm going to summarize. So, yes, you are going to face amazing successes in this life. You're going to face some amazing challenges in this life. Life really doesn't care about your successes and your failures. There's one thing that life is going to do. It's going to ask you one question. And that one question is this. How are you going to respond? How are you going to respond to those successes that you have and to the failures and challenges that are surely going to come in? How are you going to respond? Congratulations again. Go forth, conquer. And remember the little guys too, you know, like me and all the other faculty. Come back and see us every once in a while. It really makes our day. Congratulations. This has been a difficult year. This has been a strange year. Certainly this has been a different year. And so we have a different graduation ceremony, but you are no less worthy of a huge congratulations on a job well done. Best luck to you moving forward.